so this is different. <laughs> I left my camera at home and like it's just a pathetic excuse I'm not vlogging because I'm always leaving my camera anyways going to Canary Wharf because they're doing like a light show exhibition I've already been before once but going again for the second time for you guys JK no well, not obviously not for you but you know what I mean the DLR and the Elizabeth line Every time I start recording, it's out of focus, and I recorded a whole bloody monologue, and it was out of focus. Focus. Anyway, what was I was saying is that. Judging by the amount of crowds and the amount of people here, you would assume that this is some spectacular light. That's what I just event. about to say to you. But it's really not. <laughs> it's actually so mid. Even though like I really enjoy these types of things, so like, you know, I have fun here work, but I just don't I didn't know it seemed all of these people would enjoy this type of thing too. The one thing though that is yeah. worth it is the, the earth, the globe, whatever. Other than that. Guys, forget the light show, yeah. This is my favourite thing in a um, canary wolf. Like, why are people going to this crusty, dusty light show? Just come to see this piece of art. Mandatory toilet stop. But for once, I'm actually not going to go because I just can't be bothered. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's definitely not the next day, it's like the next week. And I'm going to see some potential kittens that we might buy. They're like a litter of Bengal kittens. It's my mum's friend's um, cat gave birth. So I'll take you along with me. I'm not sure if they want me to, they'd want me to film the kittens, but hopefully they don't mind. Running late, of course. I feel like that, maybe that should be like my new name, my new YouTube name, running late. Because I'm always running late. It's very dark here. Yeah, so after I come back from seeing the cute little kittens, I've already seen like a video of them and they're just, oh, just want to eat them. But um, yeah, after I come back from seeing the kittens, I'm gonna go to South for the Medjlis for the talk, even though I don't even know where I'm going, you lot. Lol, okay, right, I'm gonna have to put you down. So yeah, gonna go to the Medjlis, even though it's just so long because I have to go by train and you know what it's like going to South by train. Ugh. So this is the mum, her name's Shira. And these are two of her little baby angels and guys I just can't handle them. It hurts my heart every time I look at them. They're like tiny as anything. Oh Let's my see. god, look how they're just oh my goodness. Oh there's four, the other two are I don't know, run, running around somewhere. But no, look how they've just snuggled up next to your knee. Oh, no, 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 I can't. So I'm, I'm in the exact same position I was when I was walking to see the kittens. However, I'm back from seeing the kittens and I went back home, I quickly ate and I'm off again. I don't know if you can hear me though because of the bloody wind, but I'm basically off again to go to South. Um, oh, good Lord, okay, there's no problem. Switch. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. What was my question? Asya, you're ruining my um, aesthetics. 
Switch. <laughs> Switch. Oh. Basically, guys, my sister got a new camera. You can't show people the what's in the viewfinder. Well, can you take something I can show them, please? I'll show you Shiz one. Um, yeah, I got a new camera. Guys. So she got a new camera because she's planning on being a photographer. That's which is actually dream. what I think I should do. What? I think that's it's my dream. It's never your dream. Well, maybe it's my dream now. It, it's never my dream, but like I think it's something I'll be good at. Do you not remember? Actually, Mama, we, me and Mama were reminiscing. Basically, guys, it's actually really cute. I've got concept of... Oh, so, guys, I just thought I'd show you this coffee station because I find it quite... Um, yeah! I don't know, quite interesting. So, look at these really cute... Oh, my God, I think I just gave myself a paper cut, guys. So look how nice it is, yeah? Guys, I just paper cut my finger. No! You can't see it though. Anyways, okay, so these really cute little coffee cups in these different colours. Then this is the coffee machine. Then you have like, I'm guessing this is like the syrup section, some maple syrup, organic. And then obviously you've got your coffee pods, the grind ones. So you've got decaf and whatever. And and then, oh, this is tea. Maybe this is a tea station, no, not a coffee I'm station. It's cute though. <laughs> Look who's come to say hello. It's Luna. Are you hungry, Angel? Can you smell the kittens on me? Oh, you can smell, you can smell all the kittens. You're a bit too close to me. I can't lie to you, darling. What do you mean, no? Guys, so Isla was a witch and some good witch. She was a good witch. She's hiding now, so clearly not that great. Next year I'm gonna take you. Yeah. He goes, we're gonna go. That's and life. then Nana always passed. Yeah. Nana goes, yeah. don't you ever listen to him. He goes, he's never gonna take yeah. you. Yeah. Don't get your hopes up. Don't expect it. It's never gonna happen. And it never ever happened. Basically, one of the most like underrated, funnest things that you can do in life is go to like a big supermarket at night. Like, there's just something about going to a big supermarket in the middle of the night with your friends and not even just doing anything. Just. Just walking around. <laughs> it's just so lit. Fit track, pump track. <laughs> Guys, so I got this cinnamon. Basically, I love cinnamon, yeah? And I've been craving it for so many months now. And I know this isn't cinnamon, but it will do. And then I also got these new Watsits that I found, which look basically like Cheetos. They're the flaming hot flavor, which I love the flavor, but it's like a different, it's like the knickknack, like Cheeto. I'll let you know what they do. Unfortunately, they didn't have the clusters I wanted. I wanted the dairy milk ones because they just slapped so hard, but I just had to get the standard, standard ones instead. Yum. Gonna go to McDonald's now, probably. Let's get a little snack for my friend, not for me. So, see you in McDee's. Darling, the call, the car's not unlocked. I was gonna say the call, the car's not unlocked. Thank you. Hey guys, just got back home. Um, I feel, I don't know why I'm laughing. But yeah, so just got back home. Very cute day today, alhamdulillah. Um, I have a lot to do tomorrow at work, so I need to like try and sleep a bit early. My sleeping pattern's just been so messed up these part, like this past month. Like absolutely horrific. Um, but I'm gonna try my best to like sleep before three. Oh, I've got my shoe. Because it's just getting a bit out of control. Tomorrow I have a busy day too. Because straight after like I have an appointment, which is like near Canary Wharf, so it's a bit of a trek. And then straight after my appointment, I got to go to my cousins who's getting married. By the way, one of my cousins getting married. She's already had her Mandy, and her nikah is on Sunday, so this weekend. And then she's having like a little girls party tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to that straight after the appointment. So hopefully I'll take you with me. Don't know what, uh, don't know what I'll be able to show you. But um, but yeah, that's the agenda for tomorrow. What else has been happening? What else can I update you on whilst we're here? God, they make a lot of noise. My Invisalign, Invisalign's going well. It's a lot less painful. It's been about two and a half weeks now. Um, and I also had to do the IPR, which is instead of removing teeth to make space in your mouth, they have to like, they have to like file it down, the teeth. So that was a very uncomfortable procedure. Like, oh my God, it was so horrible. But like, it wasn't that painful. It was just so like, 
I don't know, it's painfully uncomfortable, if that makes sense. But yeah, Invisalign's going well. Also doing my teeth whitening, which is so fun. Because like, my teeth are getting white art and it's just so fun to like see. But anyway. Come on, Cleo, come on, here you go. My darling cat's just, just sort of decided to come in. Do you want to say hello to the camera? Do you want to say, okay, no, okay, okay, okay. She's a bit of a wild one, as you know. Um, anything else to update you on? Oh, I'm going on my Lebanon deployment trip in like a week. So I still have, oh my God, guys, if you're seeing this, like, yeah, if you're seeing this, please donate to my Lebanon fundraiser. Try and raise £5,000 for Palestinian Syrian um, refugees in the Lebanon refugee camps, which is on the Syrian borders, border. Um, I don't know, I never vlogged my last um, deployment trip, but honestly, one of them, it was just an indescribable experience. It was so like, it's difficult to explain an experience like that, but I think the best way I can just describe it is it's more, it did more for me than I did for them. As in, in terms of like, in terms of like help and benefit, it, I think it benefits you way more than we can ever benefit them because of just, I don't know, like not only the gratitude, but like, it's just a very big eye opener and it, and it kind of just brings you back to reality. And because we've become so desensitized to seeing like poverty and seeing people dying in third world countries and hearing about famine and drought and, um, you know, people coming from war torn countries and fleeing from, you know, hostility and things like that. It just, you know, we hear it all the time. We see it all the time constantly on social media. We're being bombarded with it. So yeah, you become desensitized, unfortunately, but then it's going and seeing it in front of your own two eyes, obviously a completely different experience and it very humbling and just grounding. Um, but yeah, so I'm very, very like excited for that deployment trip, but please do donate. The link will be in the description of this video. Um, and yeah, that's about it for tonight. Probably gonna hit the sack. Might show you what I eat actually. Let me, I'll bring you down and show you what I eat. Um, and then I'll go to bed. Guys, I'm about to show you, it's a bit dark. I'm about to show you one of my favorite meals, not of all time, but like it, it's up there. Let me show you. Now guys, this here is just chef's kiss. So it's like, it's just like fried rice with like Manchurian chicken. And I know it looks very simple standard, but let me tell you the flavors here, exquisite. It's like a perfect balance and a perfect combination of all of the flavors you could ever want in a plate of rice and chicken honestly my taste buds are tingling especially because i just do eat yeah i haven't eaten all day okay that's such cap like i ate but i barely i've had one meal the whole day um which is not good because that's not healthy that's not healthy way of eating is it i also actually let me put this in the microwave I really wanted my eating habits to significantly change in 2023 that was one of my goals so it was to like cut out the sugar and just be focused more on like nutrition um and that hasn't really happened if i'm honest with you <laughs> but we're only in oh my god guys we're in february we're in february already crazy but yeah so inshallah that's gonna be like i need to cut down on refined sugars because that is the killer guys sugar equals bad anyways i'm probably gonna go eat my food and go to bed so i'll see you tomorrow um hope you enjoyed the vlog so far don't forget to like comment subscribe if you got this far there's still gonna be more and i'll see you tomorrow hey 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 i was gonna say good morning but it's definitely not the morning it's like the afternoon um i didn't film yesterday um because it was my cousin's little pre mandy i mean pre-wedding day but obviously it was like all girls and like no one was wearing hijab and stuff so i just thought there's no point in filming and today is going to be one of those days where do you know like the accumulation of things built up over the past few weeks that you've just not been doing that you now have to do it's going to be one of those days so i gotta clean my room hoover change my bed sheets go through some applications um what else there's loads of stuff now i've actually forgotten i probably should make a to-do list but before that i'm gonna go oh i need to edit as well and i need to 
oh i'm probably gonna do, show you show, have, uh, i'm probably gonna like do like a mini little haul with you guys today because i have a few things that are like you know cute and i want to show you so we'll do that and then <coughs> Oh my god, I definitely have to crop that out. Wow, that was, considering I haven't eaten anything, that was like a big burp. What the hell? That was like, do you know when a burp just tastes of like air, like fresh, I was going to say fresh air, but obviously it's not fresh. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so we're going to do that and then don't know what's going to happen through the rest of the day, but we'll figure it out together. Alright guys, so it's haul time. Um, I'm going to show you what I got from Zara, H&M and Guess. Um, we'll start with Zara. Guys, imagine... I don't think I bought like an item of clothing from an inline store from an inline store from a um from a store like a real life store in years like I couldn't tell you the last item of clothing I bought like from a shop because I'm just obsessed with online shopping anyways so first things first there's only two things now you've probably have seen this because unfortunately now it's one of those like viral flipping tiktok pieces that everyone and their bloody mother owns but it's the it's the gray bomber the quality the quality of this bomber slash jacket is is great okay obviously this is not at all how i would style it but um yes i really really like it however it was a hundred pounds i think it's like their limited edition range i don't actually know it's like mm, i don't really know much about how zara works but it's this this label so this was a hundred pounds guys and i just don't know if i can justify the price for what it is like it's great quality and obviously i think it's something you can just wear all the time which leads me on to my second piece which is essentially so the second piece is essentially extremely similar, if not the same, just in a different colour, different fabric. Is this? Also, everyone has this on TikTok. I think everyone who couldn't get that one got this one because it's half the price. This one's like 50 quid. Yeah, this was 49.99. And it's like way lighter. Obviously, the shade of grey is different. Like, it's a lot more textured. Um, don't know if you can see. And they had it in like three different colours. They had like a... They had like a greeny khaki colour. They had a... I can't remember the other colour and then they had this but obviously I really like the grey the best and like I just don't know which one to keep kind of. yeah but I like them both and I don't know what one to return and like I don't want to keep both because I do this all the time and I just have too many clothes and I spend too much money on clothes so um by the time this video goes up it'll probably be too late for me to get your opinion because I was going to ask you which one do you think I should keep um but I'm just going to have to make that decision on my own. Anyways, on to the next pieces. This is how you know it's a real deal, you lot. I haven't even opened the package. So we've only got one thing from H&M. This one's ordered online because I hate shopping in person, as you know. So let's open it up. So this item also has, honestly, it's been out of stock for like weeks and weeks and weeks and I would check it like every so often. The only thing is, okay, I really wanted to get a size large or extra large, um, but the only size that came in stock was medium. And I was like, you know what, let me just get the medium because it's an oversized look anyway. So I'm feeling like it's not going to be oversized enough. So let's show you. So this, guys, is... A very simple staple piece it's like a slightly high neck wool blend gray knitted jumper um, and yeah it's a wool blend so it was a little bit pricey I can't lie I don't want to tell you the price because I can't remember how, how much was it this was like 60 quid you lot but I was willing to make the investment because I'm trying to buy pieces that obviously last longer, are going to be more like sustainable. I'm not going to just like throw them away after a few uses and that actually like are like timeless pieces. And I feel like a grey jumper, you can't really go wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just hope it's not. It feels like it's going to, because obviously it's like a wool blend. I don't know if you can like see all the like... um material but i feel like it might be an itchy type of vibe Do you know that like slightly like itchy thing but um we'll have to see the sizing is actually quite nice it's also got two slits on the 
sides it's got those side slits which will like make it like i guess a bit more flattering and it is quite an oversized look i'm actually glad i got medium and not i feel like large and extra large would have just been a bit too large so that's that next we have next we have the big one this is from guess i've never actually purchased anything from guess in my life i don't think but oh i feel like this is a proper little unboxing new lot like the ones you see on instagram and whatnot so all the unnecessary packaging okay so i bought some boots guys so i bought some knee-high suede black boots because i had a pair of knee-high suede black boots from new look that i got maybe five six years ago maybe even longer and i love them to death like i literally used to wear them all the time but like about a year or so ago they just got a bit like worn out a bit damaged the sole started to come out and like obviously it was from new look so even though the quality was very very good obviously it wasn't that great so i thought let me just invest in a pair from like a reputable brand that i know is going to last me forever or like long time so let's have a look at these they look lovely they look like basically with me high boots it's like it's so hard to get the right ones because with a lot of these knee high suede boots they have that like um they don't have structure on the calf bit so it's all just like floppy and saggy and it doesn't like sit right and i just i just didn't want that so like every time i'd find a black boot it just wouldn't be the right thing and then also like how it the cut so like this one as you can see here can you see like at the front obviously it's cut high and then it goes a bit lower at the back which i really like um and then you can see the it's got a lot more structure it's not like flopping around everywhere even though it, it will flop there but that's fine but um as in this is like a lot more stable but um, they feel lovely look they have this little they have this little detailing at the back which is really cute these were okay these were also obviously not pricey because i think it's like worth it they were originally 200 pounds however i got them on sale for like 130 pounds 120 pounds um so i'm gonna try those on right now actually and yeah that's the end of the haul you guys um and i'll probably see you in the next clip wherever that will be